What's going on guys, como estan? Bugal is here and welcome to another video here on the channel and today we are going to talk about the game between Barcelona and Vissel Kobe, a game which in my eyes is just like a family reunion where the two sides meet together and you get to enjoy what you love most and for some it might be kind of like a meatloaf or whatever but in this case it's going to be football and I really really do like that I'm very very happy to see Iniesta play again because of course guys I'm not gonna kid you I do not want the Japanese football league so <laughs> really I won't have seen Iniesta for a very long time now and seeing him play and seeing the quality that he has on those two little feet of his it has to be incredible it really really has to and see David B as well is a player I haven't seen play in ages because let's remember he played in New York FC and that's like even a while back so it has me pretty excited. And just as a fun fact, it seems that Thomas Vermeulen is on the talks to join Vissel Kobe as well. So it may seem that Vissel Kobe is kind of a retirement home for Barcelona players at this stage, doesn't it? And one more thing before starting off this video, be sure to check out our friends at Golazo Jersey. The links are going to be in the description down below. They got the newest Barcelona kit. So guess who can look the most epic, most valuable fan of them all? So before we go into the specifics of this game, I just want to let you know that this actual match is going to be played one hour and 30 minutes earlier. So for instance, if you were like me in South America and you watch the game at 5.30 a.m., well, now I gotta wake up at 4 a.m., which is not my time. It's not my hours. 5.30? Maybe. It's kind of like waking up very early to go to school. But 4 a.m., man, that's where I'm in the middle of my prime in my dreams. And I do not like my dreams to be interrupted. So... I'm not gonna appreciate that at all, but for all of the Asia fans, of course, it's gonna be amazing because they're gonna be doing this same thing for the entirety of the season and just, I couldn't imagine doing that. So kudos to you guys, you're all very brave. But next up, we gotta talk actually about, for me, what's the most important thing here. And that's like I mentioned and he did it in my intro and it's the family reunion. It's about a moment to celebrate. And it comes perfectly, honestly, because it's just a few days off of the Peruvian National Day. So I'm going to be celebrating no matter what this weekend. But um, I just I just want to see the players play. And that's what for me preseason is all about. I did care a little bit about the result against Chelsea. Of course, results always are good when they come your way. But preseason is about getting to the groove of things. It's about getting the rhythm back. It's about making your body know that a hard season is ahead of you. So that for me is what's more important. Because you can lose 3-0, but if your body is running, is active, and you played very good, then it's perfectly fine. Against Vizel Kobe, I don't think we should be able to get the win, but who knows? Maybe the cards of destiny wants Iniesta to get a hat-trick against us and, and who could blame him to be honest but those are the sort of things that I want you guys to be on the lookout for the people like Anton Griezmann the young the melee for me are the people that I want just I want them exquisite I want them to just get back into the group because they're gonna be very important to what we're gonna be doing these seasons I want them to lay the foundations and I want their body to be ready it sounds so weird it sounds not appropriate but that's the way it is football sometimes reaches that sort of marks so I guess that I am just begging you, enjoy the game, because it's not something that comes very few and far between. If Barcelona ever gets to play like a team for Peru, I'm gonna be very excited because it's just a moment for me to celebrate. And I'm not gonna be hoping for the absolute win. I do not demand that as well. I just want them to loosen up. I just want them to get ready. And sometimes games like this come, games like this go, but just enjoy the moment because like I said, it's not gonna be very often that you get to play people like Iniesta and Villa, all of them in different teams. So enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. And you know what? I'm not the only one saying that. Also, the captains for Barcelona have said that. Sergio Busquets, the second captain for Barcelona, has said, I hope the fans enjoy the game. For us, it's a pleasure to be here. We're preparing for the season, especially fitness-wise. We want to win even though it's just a preseason friendly. And let me tell you guys, that's going to be another thing. Because since they are friends, of course, don't you think Busquets has said on like WhatsApp, like saying, Oh, Iniesta, you're going down on Saturday. You're going down, mate. Of of course he's gonna be saying those sort of things because they're friends at the end of the day and that's what they're gonna be looking into and that's why I think they there's might be an edge to it I think this game can have that sort of competitiveness even if it doesn't come through the actual football that we may see on the field. Gerard Piquet continued to say Vissel are a great team and it will be hard to beat them. We want to win to boost our confidence. They're very good with their feet and we'll need to put them under pressure. Bow chasing is not our style so there Piquet being a little more feisty and of course demanding that victory. 
And then Sergio Roberto a little bit more calmly saying, we are really looking forward to playing against Iniesta, Samper and Villa. Let's hope it's a great game. And now just before returning to Kobe, I want to take a deviation and go back to Barcelona. We take a plane all the way back to Europe because there's a news I just read. I just read as soon as I'm recording this video and it's that Luis Suarez is now in Barcelona ready for the new season. Luis Suarez landed in Barcelona on Wednesday and his batteries are charged and ready to get back to work on Monday. The Uruguayan will be the first of Barcelona's players who feature in La Copa America to return to training and Suarez entered his sixth season at Barcelona 32 years old and faces new challenges with Barcelona having already signed Antoine Griezmann to battle for his spot and this is very good news for me of course we all wanted to see Luis Suarez get back early because we know that he has all of those problems which he said oh it's a little bit fat before the season starts I'm not in that position to tell who's fat or not but yeah that's how it is in football you have to be you have to be fit and he he wasn't for uh, what two seasons ago on the preseason so it's good that he comes back to training early so with that, we pack our bags and we take the flight back to Japan, back to Kobe, and we're going to be talking about the lineups that may be showing in this game. And with that, we take the flight back to Kobe, we go to Japan, and we talk about the lineups. I'm going to be building this lineup very differently. I'm going to be thinking, first of all, of who are going to be the concrete players in that field. And those are Jordi Alba, Pique, Ter Stegen, C. Roberto, and Sergio Busquets. Why do I say this? Because it's all about celebrating Barcelona in this game. The old and the new are going to be coming together, and that's what I want to see. So those tables, I think Valverde is going to introduce them from the get-go. I think that's what's going to happen. Next to Pique, I think we might see Samuel Umtiti again. I think that he needs more game time, and Valverde knows that, so he's going to most probably be the second center back. And then in the midfield, next to Sergio Busquets, I want to see Frank de Jong and either one of Ricky Puig and Carles Alenia. Why do I say this? Because once again, it's all about celebrating Barcelona, the new and the old. So Frank de Jong, the new midfielder, and one of the new as well in either Ricky Puig or Carles Alenia. We could even see Ricky Puig and Carles Alenia together. I just want to see something about of La Masia, because right now La Masia is in a position that is not nice. And we have to reinstate that in the mind of the fans that there's got to be a change or something. So Ricky Puig, Carles one of them has to be in the starting 11 and then above I think we might continue to see something of Antoine Griezmann and Usman de Mele with Malcolm that could be potentially what we see and if not either Carlos Perez or Alex Collado or someone else even Carlos Alenia could make an appearance in the right wing position who knows so with that really I just want to close it there because I don't want to fill your minds with too much of what it actually can be because it's simply it's a celebration for me it's a moment of just enjoying barcelona like i said the past the new and let's keep it like that i don't want to i don't want to go too overboard with this a simple game between friends and i like that i like that i like that i like that so guys hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one take care ciao